Welcome to the 15 inch touch bar MacBook Pro take apart guide. It has the model number of A1707. To remove the bottom pan, you will need to use your special Apple Penelope screwdriver to remove the six bottom pan screws. Then to take the bottom pan off, you will need to first lift up the front of the bottom pan and then slide the back part forward like this. Next the important thing is to remove the battery from the logic board. To do this, first remove the black sticker and then unplug the small flex cable. Next, remove the T5 screws from the battery board. And then lift up on the small flex cable located here to detach the battery from the logic board. Next, remove the two T3 screws from the shield located here. And then unplug the flex cable. And then remove the two T3 screws from the trackpad cable shield. and then unplug the flex cable from the board. Next, remove the two T3 screws from the shield that is located below the battery board. And then unplug the flex cable. Now unplug the right speaker assembly from the logic board. And then unplug the left speaker assembly from the logic board. Then unplug the three Wi-Fi antennas from the logic board. Now remove the two T3 screws for the USB-C ports and unplug the cable. And then remove the T3 screw to the small shield and then unplug the flex cable below it. Now remove the T3 screws for the shield located here. and also for the USB-C ports located on the right side. And then unplug the cables. Then unplug the small flex cable near the left fan. Then using a T5 screwdriver, remove the screws from the logic board. There are a few T3 screws on the upper side of the board near the battery.
and then there is a T3 screw on each side of the heatsink. And then there's also a T10 screw on each side of the board located towards the hinges. Remove the T3 screws from the display cable located here. and then unplug the display cable. Now the logic board can be removed. Next, remove the T3 screws from the fan assembly. Unplug the fan flex cable from the top case and remove the fan. And then repeat the procedure for the right fan. Now remove the T3 screws holding down the USB-C board, and then you can remove it. And then do the same for the USB-C board on the right side. Now carefully remove the touch bar flex cable from the top case. Then unplug the flex cable from it located here. Using a T1 or a T2 screwdriver, remove the screw mounting the cable to the top case and then the cable can be removed. Next to remove the trackpad, take out all the T5 screws around the trackpad assembly located here. Once the screws are removed, the trackpad will be loose from the top case. Be careful when sliding the flex cable through the assembly as it can be easily torn. Next, you can unplug the trackpad flex cable from the trackpad. Gently separate the microphone flex cable from the top case to remove it.
Next, using a T1 or a T2 screwdriver, remove all of the screws holding down the Wi-Fi antenna assembly to the top case. Now remove the T3 screws from the LCD controller board. Then from each hinge, remove the three T10 screws. Now the display can be removed. When removing the top case, you will have to gently guide the Wi-Fi antennas through the top case. Now remove the black tape located here that is covering the power button and the thumbprint reader flex cable. Now remove the T3 screws located here to take out the power button. Now take out the flex cable located here. Gently separate the power button flex cable from the top case as it is being held down with adhesive. Once it has been loosened, the power button can be removed. Now remove the T3 screws from the headphone board assembly. And then using a flat tool, gently pry up on the headphone board assembly to remove it. 